Welcome to the Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly updates from the team roping world, including from Pro Rodeo, Major Jackpots, USTRC, and World Series of Team Roping Qualifiers, and more, with hosts Chelsea Schaefer and Caitlin Gustav. Hey everyone, welcome to the Short Score. This is a special edition of the Short Score because... You just get me, Caitlin Gustav, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But we do have f- some fun topics to go over f- before we get into a special interview with none other than the Open Team Roping Champions from RFD TV's The American, Coleman Proctor and Ryan Motes. So let's get started into this newsy section, and we'll jump right into the interview. For starters, let's talk about Houston. PRCA Rodeo, they so far have a bracket filled for the semifinal qualifiers. First in that bracket is Dustin Egeskiza and Corey Kuntz. Second is Cody Snow and Wesley Thorpe. And third is a tie with Ren Richard and Quinn Kessler, and Clay Smith and Jake Long. Side note, Ren Richard won the all-around at RFD TV's The American. Super exciting. That's an awesome event. More news on that. First ever American Cowboy Number 10 World Series roping held at RFD TV's The American. Those ropers ran their final steer, their fourth round steer at the AT&T Stadium at this prestigious event. Winners of that roping were Justin McMillan and William Evans. They were a total of thirty-five fifty-one on four head. They split seventy thousand dollars. That is huge for a number ten roping. Um, this was such a fun experience. I was so glad I got to be there. It was a long weekend at the American, but it was a fun weekend. And later this week, you will hear from those winners in the score on Thursday. That was awesome. You'll definitely get to hear their story, where they came from, and how they made it to where they did. Um, Super exciting. Uh, Another new event at the American was the breakaway roping. That was so much fun to watch. It is Women's History Month, and these ladies, whether they won or not, they made history. And winning the breakaway was actually a high school student, Madison Other. Uh, She roped her final calf in the top four round, with a 2.29 second run. That was so fast. She had Jackie Crawford behind her at second callback and Kelsey Chase at high call. And unfortunately, those two were trying it on for the big bucks. And unfortunately, they came out with a miss. But it was it was dang sure fun watching them all come out and try to be fast and do work. Uh, Madison, she won the $100,000 and... She won the Junior American, adding another $10,000 to her earnings. That's a pretty good payout for a high school student. She was asked if she was going to go to school on Monday, and she laughed and said, you know, that was her plan, but she said she already took a week off. What's another day? I mean, that's probably how I would feel if I would win that much money. That was super awesome. I'm so excited for the ladies in that event. On other news, the... Cinch Time to Vent Championship is this weekend at the Lazy E Arena. Uh, you will find Chelsea Schaefer there. She will be there all weekend. If you haven't gotten your tickets, go ahead and go to lazyetec.com. It's going to be from March 8th through the 10th. This event is so much fun. I personally have never been, but I love watching it. I love seeing videos from this event. It's It's always a good time, so go ahead and... Log on and get tickets if you haven't already. All right, this is a short newsy section, but we're going to jump into our interview. Coleman Proctor and Ryan Motes, they qualified for the American. I don't know if you watched their qualifying runs from Fort Worth. They got a little western. Coleman's horse tripped on the front end, and uh, they went, went around the carousel for a second. I would go on Facebook and watch those qualifier runs. They won the American. They were 4.24 seconds on their final steer. They won $100,000 
and split the million, not only between themselves, they also had to sweat some a couple other contestants in different events and it finally came down to the bull riding and professional bull rider Jao Ricardo Vieira ended up winning the bull riding and splitting the million with them. Um, You'll get to hear them talk about how that felt, how this whole event means to them and everything. So I hope you enjoy it. I, as much as I did, I loved talking to those guys. They're always really fun to talk to and hear their side of everything. So with that being said, enjoy this interview. Coleman, Ryan, you guys just won the American. How does that feel? It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Besides my daughter being born, this is the best feeling I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, You've been close to winning it a few times, correct? Once. I, I once. had a chance with Jake. Uh, the first year I came, and I broke the barrier on the last one. Kind of funny. Motsi was down there pushing, or he was right by the head box, and it's just kind of funny how it all plays out. And uh, So coming back this year was a chance to win it. You know, I definitely wasn't going to miss the start. I told my wife earlier, I said, I'm better <laughs> off to be leaving and pulling rather than being a step late and making it hard on us. So mm-hmm. glad they screamed yeah and they meant it this time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick run. You nailed the start, got it on so fast. Talk about that run and that steer. We had a steer uh, that, that Cinegeny run yesterday, and they said he left sharp, and then they came back on him and... Uh, it was Clay Tryon ran him first team out with McCoy, mm-hmm. and that steer left sharp. Clay hung it on him. They were four flat, and McCoy McCoy rubbed a leg, and and we knew he was sharp. We knew he wanted to push to the right the first couple times, and we had to go four seven to take the lead. There was a miss and a four seven when we rode in there. You know, wanting to put a little bit of heat, I guess, on on Luke and them guys. Luke and them actually came right back on the steer we had just run, and. So we kind of knew the situation. Uh, if it came together on that steer, it was going to be fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coleman hung it on him fast. He switched back out in front of me, and I just kind of come around there and cleaned it up. Let Coleman do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good because he's been doing most of the heavy lifting all week. So. <laughs> I, was glad, I, was, I was really happy with that, with that draw. Clay even missed the barrier just a little bit and did such a great job turning that steer. Mm-hmm. And like he said, he kind of left sharp, and he kind of let me get going off the back of the corner in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Um, man, I... I just took a deep gut check moment and and decided, you know, this might be my only chance at this kind of money, and so I'm going to roll the dice. I did it once before, just a barrier, so I can surely take the barrier off. I've been <laughs> late all day, you know, so it was great. When I left my hand, I'll be honest, when I left my hand, I, thought, I was like, that felt good. Yesterday on the first one, I left my hand, I went, oh, no, and that one I went, oh, baby. <laughs> and then it, it, I got a quick wrap, and he, and he kind of rolled it. He did something kind of funny right at the beginning of, like, when it got tight, mm-hmm. and so I tried to hold my horse up just long enough to get his head and shoulders coming my way, and then I I let Heisman drop his front end and get right out of the sight. I mean, I try to make him work correct all the time, but when it comes for money, I just want to move the saddle horn, put the steer on the end of it, and, and give him a chance to clean it up. And you guys were the only qualifier team to make it to the top four. Obviously, you won it, and you split the million. Waiting for, there was, I think there was four a other lot. qualifiers. It felt, like a, lot. A lot. it felt like a lot of other qualifiers. How was it sitting on stage waiting to just see how that was all going to unfold? It's kind of funny because, uh, you know, we're waiting to see if somebody's going to tie you. And it's it's just, you're still so happy about, you know, doing well that when he when he, uh, when he he wins the bull riding, as JR does, and it's, it's, it's not even, we, it's like losing 166000 but it's, it's still, you don't even care. Mm-hmm. You know, I've never not cared about 166000 in my life. <laughs> life I promise but uh, you know you're just so happy and you're cheering for everybody else but you know trying to figure out which who who is eligible for it who's not you know and and uh, man it was just exciting like I said you're happy for them too but uh, you know obviously I'm happy for for us. I'm really happy well, for Well, thankfully, us. they had us on that stage, and you couldn't really hear and keep mm-hmm. up, so we would just be like, we think, we don't think. We do, we it don't. Would be, it would the be barrel racing, we were pretty racking. certain. We were pretty certain there was one qualifier in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I told I told Amber Lee Moore, if she left him standing and would win this thing, that I would show my, my pink toenails from the finals that I still have. They kind of look like French tips now, but... Uh, they've been good luck, so I, I might. I mean, I might go back in and get them redone again. Yeah. <laughs> what you, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not going to join me. Yeah, no pedicure for me, but you know, let the Okie do the Okie things. <laughs> Whatever it takes to win. I was going to say, you guys are on. I watch you guys on the big screen watching Joe ride, mm-hmm. and 
I was waiting to see how you guys were going to react, and like you were just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, like. Oh well, I mean, it, at the end of the day, everybody. I mean, when you do your job, you deserve to get paid, and he did such a great job. Mm-hmm. And riding a bull, I mean, if I ever rode a bull, they need to give me four hundred thousand. I promise you. So we were excited, like Ryan said. I mean, yeah, it costs you a fictitious hundred and sixty thousand, but at the end of the day, man, I just left the American with more money than I've ever dreamed of being on throw mm-hmm. my rope for. You know, I said it earlier. Like when I started out, I just wanted to get my fees paid, like let alone diesel and then bills and expenses and now to actually be able to look back on my career and say hey I paid off land I set up my family for the rest of our lives I made a dent with this rope I mean that's an amazing opportunity so no matter if we just split it one way or or six ways I mean that's a lot of money and then thanks to the American for giving you know qualifiers just like us we had to come up through the hard way and we you know we could have been any other qualifying team you know mm-hmm. that's the great thing about team roping there's so much talent out there nowadays that you're going to see team ropers win their share of the million again mm-hmm. and i love the new format change of course i'm going to say that because we won first but <laughs> i thought it was a, a whole lot uh, it showed it displayed team rope in the way it should be you know it mm-hmm. wasn't just blasting fast runs last year three second runs aren't making the top four and to actually make it a team roping mm-hmm. and, and then have one fast round that's what fans wanted to see and i don't feel like we disappointed you know, Paul and everybody else. I thought like we all kind of gave him something to, to cheer for and kind of gave him a showcase. Mm-hmm. And talk about your guys' qualifier runs. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> been a – look, look <laughs> it's, technically it started last year. You know, <laughs> we went last year in what, what seems like a disappointing year. Yes. You know, we started roping together at Caldwell last year, and, and we, we did good right off the bat our first week. We, our first week felt like this week. We oh, were, we were entered all over the place, flying, driving all night. And, uh, you know, we came up short of the NFR last year, which seems like the worst disappointment, you know, ever. And it's just, it's one of those things that you never think about. But like I said, the Lord's got a plan and everything. And I mean, if if we had finished at the NFR and finished in the top 10 and had a great year, we would have not been eligible for the million, you Mm -hmm. know. And uh, we started off at Odessa and and got qualified right at Odessa. I slipped a leg to win the American qualifier at Odessa. But then this week started off good. We went over to Alvarado to the, you know, to the slack. Back, won third in the first round, came back, won second in the average, uh, made two two pretty good runs, mm-hmm. go over to Northside, and yeah, we, we took the carousel around a couple times at Northside. Yeah, how was we that? Go, we go <laughs> at the end, so we go at the end and, and right before right before we ride in, when we go over there, they brought 16 back out of 23, and right when we go to rope, the, a couple two teams had missed that night, and we mm-hmm. had figured that if one team missed, all we had to do was get a time. We had a steer that they won the first round on at the semifinals and uh, we were I don't know I wouldn't say I guess we backed off and went for the catch Coleman's horse stumbled at the back left corner about went down I, I looked over and I was gonna have a better chance of catching any of the saddle bronc riders any of the Wright <laughs> brothers than I did then I did our steer at one point in time I thought I had a good idea to circle him around Coleman a little bit and just make sure we got this catch down and turns out, turns out that was the hardest approach we could have took. We ran him around, was 21 on that steer, <laughs> came back as the last team. We were the last team to qualify back, uh, 15th, I guess, only brought 15. We went first out, went 4-1, and, and you know, you assume we're, you know, in, into over here. Uh, so it's been a long week. We got qualified uh, yesterday. Uh, again, there's a couple misses. We went and Coleman, Coleman roped the first one clean around the half head. And I followed him about four jumps until I felt confident, I guess, in catching him. <laughs> Man, and I tell you, that run we made at the qual- at the qualifier was huge because I sent that video to Speedy, and he, you know, he's giving me a hard time from that day. He's like, you cannot miss the barrier. So to this morning, my plan was to stay aggressive. No matter, that's why I told Ryan. I said we're still staying aggressive because we want to play for some position in the four man round. And the steer beat me out, but like I try, I was trying to be on the barrier, and it made a lot bigger difference, you know. So it worked out good. I kind of mm-hmm. got to free my horse up for just ducking him right back over the neck up on the next one. You know what I mean? So it was great good things come out of bad situations every time just like us missing the finals last year it was a true blessing today you know just like me missing the barrier and making ryan really have to work for it that 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 really paid off huge dividends today so (laughs) all right awesome well thanks Thanks, you guys congratulations well i hope you guys enjoyed that interview as much as i did uh we got cut a little short because time in the press room was limited towards the end of the american and i had to unfortunately catch a flight but those guys are always awesome to talk to and i truly enjoyed that interview stay tuned later this week for the score there's a short interview with the winners of the american cowboy 10 Uh, that one was a super exciting interview and 
If you have a chance, it's really quick and easy. Go ahead and give us a like and review and rate us. When you give us a review and share our podcast, it helps people find us on iTunes or wherever else you are listening to podcasts. It helps get the word out and it helps us. I do personally look at the reviews and see what you guys have to say. And if there's something that we need to work better on, I'm all game. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for listening and stay tuned for our episode on Thursday with the winners of the American Cowboy 10.